Wow. Wow. <laughs> but Helper will have to wow himself off stage and off the mainstream wow. as we go to Losers Finals featuring Ray Luno and Mr. Fahrenheit, who's making a, right now, kind of making a crazy run. I actually recall Mr. Fahrenheit um, a couple weeks ago. He actually came to the Xeno that I happened to be at, you know, between college and work and all that jazz. True. And he made a really good run then with the with the Roy, you know, Mr. Fahrenheit with the orange skin. All I mean, I get to see it truly making a uh, big upset, big run. By the way, he's 21st seed here, going up against you know the fourth seed of Ray Luno, who is projected to get second at the tournament right after John Numbers, and he is putting on a, a couple of numbers and putting on a stock to his under his belt as well. It's so dangerous. Always so dangerous to see a Roy just like act with confidence really because there's a lot of times where Roy can be seen as exploitable and can be seen as like it, uh, effectively a sortie without a sword because all of his sweet spots are where you want to hit and those are at brawler type ranges really close to the hilt but Mr. Fahrenheit is just not slowing down, not deterred by a individual failure or an individual punish. He's always sticking to the game plan, and the game plan says hold forward. Completely true. Ooh. And holding forward, we're going forward with that throw, and we're going to be seeing Ray just kind of get right back to center stage and do a bit what, uh, what Bayonetta does best, which is try to get you into these combos, starting off with the up toe, starting off with the nair as well. But thankfully, Mr. Perron somehow even manipulate himself around these hurt boxes and make it to his own favor. The down tilt coming in from Ray Luna is going to be a really good start. Going for the up beat into the ABK up into the another one. And we're not going to be taking off the top quite yet, but we're definitely kissing the bots a little too close. Into the forward smash. Ooh! Just My calling bad. out the landing. It's like, My oh, bad. this is good damage. You're at forward smash kill percent, and it's going to be right there. <laughs> <laughs> and you got to jump into it, bestie. Don't even worry about it. That is great awareness from Ray Luna, and he's been hitting those all night. I can't lie. So you yeah. know what? Why not do it one more time? Mr. Fahrenheit still has a little bit of, you know, catching up to do here, especially when we get caught into his bayonetta up B. Beautiful timing on that, which is time in order to get that fourth throw coming through for Mr. Fahrenheit and hopefully get the stock up as soon as possible. We are going to be seeing a couple of these, uh, these, you see the jab come out. You're seeing him fishing for that Jerry. You're seeing him fishing for that forward air. And Ray Luna is just kind of maneuvering himself around those hurtbox, uh, hitboxes very nicely. Ray Luno very much one for the dive kick I've been noticing throughout his run here tonight. Has a lot of stock put into being able to disengage and cross a lot of space with that dive kick and circumvent. Oh, and just going for the rapid jab instead. Not having the full confirm, but if you're forcing Roy off stage, you're always in a good position, particularly as Bayonetta. You find that edge guard so consistent and so well played. Ray Luno looking really good here, taking game number one, kind of cooling off the red hot Mr. Fahrenheit just a tad. I agree. He do look good right now. He do look good. He do look good. They both look good. Both okay. Look nice. A little nice weather today. The, the light puffer jacket, not quite the thick one. The light puffer jacket, the light sweater. It's, a, it's a winter jacket and short sleeve shirt is like a nice, like. It's a good balance. It's a good balance, like transition seasons. Yeah. So, you know, no more, you know, hoodie irony, yeah, no nothing, no. just vibes. Vibing over to Hollow Bastion. We're going to be seeing that as the kind of pick for Mr. Fahrenheit. I believe we're going to be seeing Town City ban and Smashville ban. So there's, of course, a really good natural second option, or third option, may I say. We're going to be starting off very strong for Luna once again. I believe someone took him to the stage, and he did very well regardless. I think Bayo is really good on a single platform stage like this. So Mr. Fire has a little bit of work cut out for him. Yeah, great. Uh Stages like Hollow Bastion and Smashville, uh, any stage that allows for like reliable reset and consistent access to platforms is something that a character like, like characters like Bayonetta and Roy really, really enjoy. We saw that with Mr. Fahrenheit's juggle game. He loves to extend with these up airs as we're seeing right now. And then though there's infinite things you can say about Bayonetta's combo state. She can just confirm and do so many things. And in that case, the fair one too, in order to set up for the rapid jab, closing out stock number one. Looking really good for, your, for Ray Luno. Calling out the jump as well. Hold. Okay, only some only 32%, 32 but that could have been so much more. I held, and I let go. <laughs> it's like, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. But we're so back. <laughs> so wait, it's Ray back, though. <laughs> Ray's not back. Ray is not back. It's right. okay. Because 
Good for Mr. Fahrenheit, of course. Any any type of bayonet as you take in bracket, you take that with grace. And Mr. Fahrenheit is starting, wrapping it, or starting to rank it back up in his favor, going in for a hard four smash. And he's sending Melina all the way away towards a blast, but not quite death yet. The rolling can be completely negated by Mr. Fahrenheit once, once again. And into the up air once more as the soft field four smash coming out once again. Is it going to be enough? Do we get the jab? Do we get the nair? We absolutely do. Ray has now suddenly been caught in the, caught, kind of caught lacking here. We're Show suddenly up. now you're in the back. Now you're playing catch up. All right, I liked what he was cooking there though. ABK into reverse dive kick, anticipating the tech. Very nice stuff. Still, some good damage here. The 140% number is spooky, but that also means it's a ton of rage, forcing the high recovery, but just not finding the punish. And again, Mr. Fahrenheit with that double jump from ledge. Even better though, Raymundo skipping the ledge entirely for the punish, yet he gets back airs out of shield. Recognition and reaction from Mr. Fahrenheit going all in his way as he takes the stock lead yet again. Another missed time on that Witch's time, and unfortunately gains punish for it, but not too much, not too much, only 6% as a punish. So Mr. Fahrenheit is once again having to, you know, play this game again. We get the back here, we start to get back to neutral. We want to talk a piece. This could, this this should, is this match point for Ray Luno? Anything could happen here, however, we could go to game three at any point. Love the walk away, Sashe, we just did. Okay, going for that down throw once more, and come on now, going in for that a uh, little bit of a trade here. Dive kick can be sending it to the up B, but double up B not gonna be connecting. It's slightly uh, negated by the up air coming in from Fahrenheit, but I love the roll back in order to, you know, kind of make the space happen once more for Ray Luna. And again, on my shield, what are you doing on my shield? Get away from me, the four is not gonna connect quite yet, looking a lot closer than before. Bro, this is getting scrappy. Both players are just hunting for starters at any waking moment. We're swinging four smash out of nowhere. There was nobody there, there, boss. But hey, I mean, oh. any sort of opportunity to land a hit. Both players are taking it, yet the double edge chance doesn't find the sweet spot on the last hit. And he still goes for it. All the tech is missed by Ray Luna as they find their way back to stage yet again. He's pressuring and he's playing around, but Roy is holding firm. Mr. Fahrenheit finds the grab. This resets all resources, though, on both parties. Yet it is Ray Luna who has to make their way back to ledge, doing so repeatedly. Oh, you're That's gone. It. The Me, da, the me when I dash tech. The heel slide out of the corner. Like, that's, a, that's the gambit of all gambits. <laughs> and, like, and you saw Ray, like, see, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, un yeah, yeah. Unironically. This is so scary. Like, you are, you're grabbing ledge. You're any character grabbing ledge here. Roy, hold shield. Yes, you have to worry about drop shield, which does have the extra frames of uh, delay. But Roy can drop shield, right and down tilt in order to reset the entire situation, hit ledge hang. Drop shield, threaten jab to kill you. Drop shield, uh, jump out of shield with a forward air or an up air to kill you. Uh, backer out of shield to kill you. It's like the stance of just like hold, run up to ledge, hold shield, wait, bait, and react is so, so threatening. And Mr. Fahrenheit is taking advantage of that threat by just doing nothing at all yep. and playing the reaction. Yup. And now we're playing on Kalos, which is I, mean, I want you to talk about more than me, you know, more than I do. I mean, clearly Miss Be Miss Miss uh, Bayonetta has a little little wall hang right there, so yeah, good, good. one of the good benefits of the stage for her at the very least. And also you have a lot bunch of space to really walk around with. So uh, maybe I say all that, but Mr. Fahrenheit is taking this ledge game and you know wearing it with pride. Making sure that he's able to honestly bring it toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone like Red Luno. Even more so, we're about to lap percentages, go for that down throw once more, and we're waiting on recovery. What can we do? We go for the jab into the back air. Boom, bam, bop, that's how it's done. First yeah. stop. It just keeps on coming in. Like, and just the patience being rewarded by playing hyper aggro, playing like you want and are thirsty for these hits. But then when the moment comes where you need to pick the stock, Mr. Fahrenheit is just waiting for these uh, hits to fall into his lap. Kalos is traditionally a really good pick if you're trying to wait people out and like play the long game and play the full stage advantage with your mobility like Bayonetta has. Taking advantage of some aggression there, though, is Ray Luno finding that extra stock. Holy, oh! you're gone! Wait, Loki? This is a hot set. Stop. That's, that's the only way you die there is with an air dodge in, uh, but threatening the back air is so tough on a side platform like that, close to the Kalos Blast Zones. It's, it's so, so tough. Mr. Fahrenheit has been popping off, but there is a heel slide. Hopefully for Ms. Ray Luno, it's converting into something a whole lot more. The whole bullet arc is going to save him from a big punish, but still not the stock-taking interaction that Ray Luno is waiting for. 
This has become such a close game immediately. You see Lino going a lot more for these forward matches. Even the us match we saw, we saw just now was so well timed. Love, I love the actual little damage that you know Barry Dena does provide to the table. Ooh. Finally, the wish time coming through very reliably. This time, the us match, the for the second time in a row, we're gonna be seeing a very close game. Sub 60 on Reluno, very easy to bring it right back. Oh, I lied. I may have lied a little bit. We're gonna be seeing 81% on Reluno instead. Gonna be dropping Mr. Fahrenheit out of that up. Be unfortunately, Mr. Fahrenheit having the lead in his hands. I mean, the win is right there. It's presented on a platter for you. We're going to be going a little bit too early on that release. Allowing Luna to get the really good punish here off stage. Can't we get it. Roy off stage? Can't, wait, no, 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 That's no. That's just it. Get around the ledge. No, he wasn't able to get to the wall in time. We used, oh, unfortunately. We did it all. We used that all of our resources, and it was right there. Right there. Oh, and the shake of the head. He knew he had the game won. Oh, this is so tough. This is so, so tough, but I love it. You reset your resources there. No you way. go for the Witch Twist to cover. I mean, let's go play this in half speed. The Witch Twist to cover. This Nair snipes the jump. The jump was used. It was covered, but it was used down here. Yes. So sniping the jump is the first thing to do against Roy. So you have to pivot back to... Uh, when you're pivoting into an edge guard, you can either decide in this moment, retreat to ledge and play the uh, ledge drop, like con continue to play the uh, to the drop zone. That's what it's called. Yes. Or you go all in here. Reluna decides to go all in with the drift. Oh shit! I the video. <laughs> Reluna decides to go all in with the uh, ABK or the witch choice into the ABK, but you're not able to make it back so because you already used the first. Uh, uh, Wish Twist. Yes. So the only way that Ray Luno survives here is if he's able to get to the wall in time with no resources, just Bayonetta's air just, drift. And just stay there. And, and wall cling. Mm -hmm. As you called out earlier, Bayonetta does have a wall cling. It is a major advantage on a stage like Kalos. And normally you would think it would be enough, but the I don't know if there was could, an extra fast fall Could Bayo not have air dodged? Bayonetta's air dodge is terrible. But just air dodge up. Maybe? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Who's I, a faster faller? Roy. Roy. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are they actually that's actually my point. <laughs> the problem with Bayonetta's <laughs> air dodge is that it's like it doesn't small. it doesn't give her any height even when you air dodge up. But it's a delay at it, all. It that's a, what I mean. Yeah. I, I am in agreement where air dodge up and towards the wall could give you that extra distance to yeah. wall uh, to get the wall cling or flat up. Just because I, I like, look how close they are. I'll, I'll just make it full screen. Yeah, look how close you. they are to like the the floor, right? Like, I think Ray Air thought. Dodge up, I think does it. I, I think, think I think Air Dodge up does it. Did he? I'm like, he fell really fast here, right? Yeah, he started. Fall, he was he was starting to match Ben at his pace. Well, like Roy falling really fast. When I'm crazy, like, am I crazy for thinking that yeah. Ray Luno fast fell here? I'm not sure. I don't but think so. Don't think, you don't, don't see a little spark No, no. Like, uh, Roy is gaining on her. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Oh, but man, that's cool. What You make the game-winning play, but you just, you don't round the bend. You don't cross finish line. It's oh, like, oh, man, oh, man. It's like this popping a...